I could really go for a hoagie right now, and I could go for some warmer temperatures. It's been chilly, and that's not changing over the next several days. And with the colder temperatures and precipitation, a lot of this, even though the radar's picking it up as rain, is actually coming to the ground as snow, like up into Armstrong County, Catanning, Fort City, back into Indiana, even trailing into Pittsburgh. We have some light snow right now that extends along I-70 back into West Virginia and Ohio. In addition to that, we have much colder conditions coming into play later tonight and early tomorrow morning, especially once those clouds start to break up. So there is a freeze warning. This is in effect until 9 o'clock, and this is for Greene County and Monongalia County. That's where the growing season has begun, but everybody's going to get in on these freezing temperatures. So if you have plants outside, bring them in or cover them up. You want to protect those from those from the plants from this cold weather we're going to have tonight. Looking across the Allegheny, a pretty nice shot here off of the back of Heinz Field. You can see the heart lit up on the buildings back there. 36 degrees at the airport with light snow. This will be wrapping up. It is a little breezy, and it's a lot wind chilly. It feels like the upper 20s, but I think by the time we get into tomorrow morning, many of our actual temperatures will be in the upper 20s. It's 34 in Washington right now. Same temp in Greensburg, Beaver Falls. By the time you get up to Newcastle, you're at freezing. 30 degrees in Franklin, 36 in Indiana. As you look down towards Waynesburg, 30 degrees for you and 34 in Morgantown. Now, through the night in Pittsburgh, our temperatures are actually going to touch into the upper 20s before we bounce back to the mid to upper 40s. That's as warm as it gets tomorrow, so another chilly day on tap with uh, another round of some light rain and snow trying to mix in as we head into the later parts of tomorrow. But you can see that clearing is beginning. You can see most of Ohio coming in with those clearer conditions, um, but the, the back edge of the clouds is just to our west in Ohio, and that's going to continue to cross over our way as high pressure builds in. So high pressure is going to take care of us, clear us out, but that's going to allow for the cold temperatures. First little disturbance comes in and pretty much dies out over Pittsburgh late tomorrow, giving us some light rain and snow. The next one, this is going to be a little more widespread. It starts off as snow showers, but that snow will mix with rain as temperatures start to come up a little bit on Friday. So Thursday night into Friday, that's where we're looking at the potential for some light accumulations around the area, but that should melt very quickly. 29 tonight, gradually clearing skies, a little breezy too, giving us those wind chills. Tomorrow, 48 degrees, sunshine early, clouds increasing for the afternoon, late, some rain and snow, and some wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. And you can see the early part of the day is the best part, even with the chilly temperatures, because as it gets later, we turn on the rain and the snow. Next several days, Partly cloudy skies for Thursday. Good looking day, actually. A little cold, but otherwise pretty quiet. Friday is the snow transitioning to rain through the day. Light accumulations there on mainly elevated surfaces like grass, back porches, uh, windshields. Saturday, we take it back to the 50s with partly cloudy skies and rain showers in 60s return on Sunday. And with the snow, with the rain, with the cold, with the mild temperatures in the forecast, keep it all sorted out with the KDK weather app. Gives you an interactive forecast, uh, or actually an interactive of radar hour by hour forecast you can even see future casts on there real cool app and it's free just search cbs pittsburgh in the app store and google play